segment of learn from the prophet. Now, there are so many confusion, mayhem in the Christendom concerning certain messages that have been preached. And and today is also one other episode. Stephen Adun Chedu, the prophet of God, took time to break this message down. And I know there were a lot of skills that fall from your eyes. Myself, I, I was marveled because many are the things that we've done, many are the directions that we have carried out because of this message. And it is all because we do not have that wisdom, the understanding and knowledge that we need to move on as Christians. And I, I believe the Christian Council must, must come to Stephen Adun Chedia for enough wisdom so that we can reshape Christianity. Now, what are we talking about today? Yeah. It's about the armor of God. Yeah. The armor of God. Uh, Brother Michael, yes, the sir. armor of God. And before you go into that, you see, Stephen Adun Chedia was saying that there are three key messages. Yeah. And he yeah. believes that these three key messages has changed the mindset of all believers or Christians around the globe. Yeah. And it has also changed our nature, so that we are doing certain things that are not right in the sight of God. So if you can help us with this, and let us know these three messages and their various effects on us. Well, the Lord bless his prophet, Stephen Adum Chidia, wherever he is. Okay. And then his better half, Mama Millicent. Yes. Yeah, the Lord bless him very much. Well, the prophet of God spoke about three major things. Yes. That has really gotten Christianity into a state of confusion. One, which is the era of awareness. An era where we should be aware of the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. His strategies, his formulas mm -hmm. that he's using to lure the people of God. Okay. Secondly, the second coming of Christ. That's the rapture. The rapture. Mm -hmm. Even last week, I remember he said, instead of Christians awaiting the second coming of Christ, mm -hmm. now we are rather waiting for the coming of the Antichrist. Antichrist. <laughs> and we've all been misled in yes. a way. Yes. And thirdly, today's message, in mm -hmm. fact, it really baffled my mind. Yes. The armor of God. The armor of God. He talks about we do not wrestle against flesh hey. and then blood. Yes. He spoke deeper into it. It's a very deep message. Yes. It's a very, very mm. deep message. And I, I don't want to go into details. Just yes. Yes. I it's, want to give the shallows. Yes. It's, it's a very deep message. Now, you see, uh, Stephen Adun Chedua, the prophet of God, is a very good teacher. So before he starts every sermon, look at the instances, the examples that he gives, just to prepare your mind towards the message. Today he, he gave some examples and then instances. So, uh, Mrs. Dorothy uh, Wabin Yama, let's look at this. Look at some of the instances that Stephen Adun Chedua led us to know and then made us to get closer to the message that he was carrying across. Thank you very much. Uh, before then, he made mention of the fact that because of these three messages that are confusing the whole public, like our brother uh, Afuaka Afuaka mentioned, yes. yeah. because of that, some pastors are also taking some advantage and organizing all kinds of prayers, spiritual direction to mislead the uh, public, the more, especially the Christians to mislead them the more, okay. get them more confused. So as a result, so, uh, Christians wake up at dawn that they are praying. Because Why? Because witches are flying from 12 midnight, uh, 12 midnight. to 3 p.m. to <laughs> go and do their own thing somewhere. And because of that, uh, Christians don't sleep. The wow. moment, maybe they set clock. Yes. That will wake them up. So the moment the, the clock that bell in our hair it has to fire you have to fire fire seriously fire amiss. moving <laughs> here and there shooting up and down yes left right center killing their enemies to kill, it, <laughs> <laughs> to kill their enemies at once yes so <laughs> that prophet uh, uh the prophet of god <laughs> mentioned that because of that christian are dying so much yes. why because we are not sleeping we are not, not resting yeah. instead of us to sleep rest for the organs 
the physical organs in us yes. to replenish themselves. We use that period for fighting our enemy, shooting at throughout night, the night. And throughout the night. So all night as we do that, we are creating <laughs> more diseases in yeah. our system. That is why Christians are dying uh, so you, you much than those now, who are now in the, the world. All night services are not even named all night. Though. We war call night. It war night. night. Yeah. You are going war to war. Night. You arm That's yourself. Yeah. Some will even think King Salon. They are going to beat the Satan it's, or the it's devil. It's but I don't know whether they see them uh, see yes. him physically. Yeah. Okay. So all those things are things that are at, uh, confusing us. It's like we don't know what we are doing. We're okay. getting confused. Now, viewers, you have, you have the opportunity to also come through with your messages. You will take your messages and then your phone calls at the tail end of the program. And uh, so you can write the numbers down. For phone calls, our landline line is 0201 0266-494385. And then via our WhatsApp platform, you can also send your message, contribution, or suggestions also on 0241 775009. Now, uh, Mr. Daniel Osai, I, I, I'll take your, your submission on this also. You see, Stephen Adun Chedria, the prophet of God, also gave another analogy using relationship. How you've moved from strengthening our relationship with God Almighty who created us. And then rather seeking to find someone who we blame or believe has marred the relationship between us and our Creator. Thank you very much, Mr. Malcolm. The fact is that the Antichrist is at work. You see, God always makes sure that his children live in peace. That is why he always wants us to make sure we are imbibing his word. If we are imbibing the word, yes. we'll be able to understand whatever comes our way and be able to control our particular strength. Now, the other side of it is that, you see, the message, <laughs> armor of God. Yes. And when Christians meet, they want to counteract anything they believe is a device from the enemy. Okay. And they are wearing or using the armor of God to fight back. Mm -hmm. And this is what the man of God Stephen Adum Chedria, the prophet of God, is drawing attention to okay. that it is a wrong way. Okay. Humans are to live at peace. But right now, in the church, it is like a war or warfare, and everybody is attacking the neighbor, believing that at the end of the day, the problems will cease when they've been able to kill their enemies. And this is asking us to defray from and make sure we now live in Christ. You so the wear the armor, okay. which is the word of God. Okay, the, the, the most fascinating thing about Christianity now is Christianity is more like divided. So if you're a pastor from one church and you go to the other church, you're not recognized. If you baptism from one church, it's not re recognized in the other church. This is all based on the varying degree of understanding of scripture and then also doctrines that have been copied or that are being used by these churches. But it shouldn't be so. Christianity is one thing or unity, oneness. You understand? We should be together and then move in one direction. And wh what is that direction? Lifting the banner and the flag of Jesus Christ on high so that the lost and the whole world will come to know that indeed he is God all by himself and there is no other person apart from him. But this isn't what is happening because of this understanding. For instance, as a child, I go on or I wrong my father and my father wants to punish me for what I have done wrong. So he, he takes or withdraws, or he can even freeze the account he has opened for me. Mm -hmm. So now I don't have access to my bank accounts and money. Mm -hmm. And instead of me to go back to him when I start feeling the heat and the harsh realities of life, yeah. I don't do so. Or someone will just come around and tell you, oh, this thing, your father wouldn't have done so. Yeah. Uh, Brother Somebody Michael went to him. see him and then he, he Brother just Michael said, is yes. behind He's behind, behind the whole thing. So now I carry <laughs> that anger. Was I should know that what I did is the cause of that. So to go down and say, Father, I am sorry. Please forgive me. Take me back. And I wouldn't do those things again. Yeah. We don't do so. Now, so going into the message. Today, we are going to look at uh, Ephesians chapter 6, yeah. verse 10. The armor of God. And even what is the armor of God? And how do you put on the armor of God so that we can stand against the devil, his walls, the scapes, and the machinations. Yeah, so let's take uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. 
Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Let's look at this. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. How can one be strong in the Lord? And how do you get the power of his might to work on your behalf? We are saying that the armor of God is the word of God. It's the word of God. The word of God is Jesus Christ. Yes. So you have Jesus, you have the word. Mm -hmm. And being strong, you are asking how we can be strong. Being strong in the Lord is you are putting on that armor. You are putting on God's power. And that God's power is his word. So you feed yourself in the word. Mm -hmm. You mess yourself in the word of God. Yes. Not, don't know the right and the true word of God. Undiluted word of God. So that you feed your soul with it. Okay. Then you have to rely upon that word that you have studied. Yes. You have to rely upon it. Make sure that nothing takes you away from the word of God. Okay. And that is your power. So soaking and the word of God is like putting on the armor, armor of God. Good. And that wow. gives you that power. Where do you get the power? Because you have the faith. You believe that God is, God is the final authority. And, authority and everything. Very so true. apart from God, there's nobody. There's nothing. Wow. So you have that hope in him. Mm -hmm. Because you build your faith in the word. In the Bible word. says that faith comes with the hearing of the oh, word. The hearing of so the word. once you, you have heard the word and you have believed that God is the source of your power, your hope and everything, that makes you so powerful. Okay. That you will be afraid of anything. Okay. You will not be afraid of anything. Okay. Rather, yeah. Yeah. An instance from the Bible. Someone um, like Sarah in yes. the Bible. Yes. It took her 90 years before getting a baby. So if I'm 45 years, why should I cry? Why should why? you cry? Why should you worry? Yes. <laughs> you know, as a child of God, you are ought to face certain challenges, challenges. certain trials. These are all meant to straighten your path or your faith mm -hmm. in Christ. Mm -hmm. That is why, as Mama said, the armor of God from Papa's interpretation today, he stated that the armor of God is the word of God. The word of God. Yeah. So for you to be empowered in the word of God, there should be a trial. A trial. There has wow. to be a trial. So today, Papa was saying something. Yes. He said, as a child of God, you have to master courage. Wow. You should have a lot of hope. Okay. And with a full conviction that your Redeemer lives, yes. no matter the trials you're going through, yes. you should be aware that your Redeemer is alive. But mm -hmm. you see, many people think that the Christian walk or Christian journey is so rosary yeah. that uh, 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 there is nothing like trial that should come your way. And these challenges, when they come, it means uh, uh, someone has actually worked it out for you. And so we don't want to suffer or, or endure a bit. But we know that the endurance, when you go through these things, uh, the endurance, it gives you patience. Yeah. And then you being able to wait and or persevere. Yeah. And by so doing, your spirit and then your body is built up in the word of God, such that you now become empowered yeah. and nothing can move you. You see, but that isn't what is happening. Okay, so how do we get the power of God also to work for us? Uh, Mr. Osai, let's look at it from your angle. Well, the power of God first is in the word. Okay. And then second is the faith that we are able to exhibit mm -hmm. after we know of head of the word. This also confirms the fact that the olden generation Mm -hmm. All the people that we know as Christians who were booked in the Bible, mm -hmm. they had challenges. Yeah. Okay. Like the era of Daniel, wow. era of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yes. See, they all had challenges. And how come you are put into a lion's den? Yes. And yet, mm. you didn't even attempt finding out anybody mm -hmm. trying to support you here and there. Mm -hmm. They knew their strength was God. Okay. And that was the power. Now, Stephen Adum Chedia, the prophet of God, yes. is trying to build in us the strength, the power, and the ability and perseverance that in any challenge, we should not look up to him. Mm -hmm. For, like he said, there's a time that we should know that we are all brethren. Yes. So, mighty God has empowered everybody mm -hmm. that there is nothing, no challenge that is beyond you. And we should continue to forge ahead and fight 
till we get to the end of okay. the race. So being empowered means you are ready to stand in the word of God. Yeah. Put your trust in him. That it doesn't matter. So as Daniel said, even God will not descend to deliver me from the mouth of this lion. He's ready to go through it. Yeah. That is the level of faith. Yeah. The level that we need. Commitment to the word of God. Said so that nothing will shake us. Nothing will move us. Now so let's why you okay. do that eh? Then you that you build your face strongly strongly you scare nothing you'll be afraid of and you will not be afraid of anything you become so bold enough yes and so that is why that psalm 23 said that yeah though you walk through the value of shadow the of value of the shadow i will death. fear no evil why won't you fear any because ah. the one that lives in you is greater than He's that greater one than he in the world value you of the shadow of death. Wow. and the bible wow. promises that even if we take drink uh, poison we will not die yes we trample over serpents, serpents. And they can't do anything and to us example is so, what have you to pour very good yeah. by the snake and people were expecting that maybe the uh, hand will be swollen or something. Yes. But so they were just watching. But yes. nothing happened to him. Why? Because he has built his faith strongly in the Lord. Wow. And he has leaned against him because the Bible said, Christ in you, the hope, hope of glory. Amen. Yeah, and adding up to what Mama said, um, he stated that finally, my brethren. Finally, my brethren. You know, the Bible has pioneers. Mm -hmm. We have we have leaders and mm -hmm. we should learn from the pioneers yes people like moses moses and the apostles Abraham, they all went yes. through trials okay and they are referring to us mm -hmm. as their 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 brethren. related brethren okay that no matter the trials that mm -hmm. comes your way wow you should have hope you should, have hope. You should trust in the lord yes. that god lives yes yeah and and that is it thank you very much so if they are our brethren and they went through why do you want to have an easy way? <laughs> yeah. Why do you want to go through shortcuts in life? And there's no shortcut to have it. You understand? He said he didn't have it easy. He didn't have it easy. So, we also know how Okay. To now, let's take the verse number 11. Let's take verse number 11. And we look at it. He said, Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Put on the whole armor of God. Now, you've come to agree or understand on the armor of God. Now, let's look at the wiles of the devil. Please let it be there. Let's look at the words of the devil. What is the meaning of words? The words yeah. of the devil. Because many a times I think it is understanding or misunderstanding that is uh, causing all this hula baloo in the, in the system and the confusion. Mm -hmm. What is it? Yes, let's look at it. The words can mean the schemes, the strategies the devil uses. Okay. And those strategies are all. Uh, means by which you put some sort of fear in you. Mm -hmm. The moment they put that fear in you, it dampens your spirit and it takes that faith from you. The faith from you. So, yes, so fear is what? A thief of faith. Okay. It will steal the faith in you so that you become so, it, it, everything they say will dawn on you. Yes. So that you become so afraid, said that you will be afraid of your own shadow. <laughs> so, whatever they tell you, you follow. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's a strategy. Uh, it's a sign. Let's look yeah. at some of the wiles of the devil because we know that these are the strategies, the, the machinations or schemes that are being deployed by the enemy. Yeah. Said so that you woo you or make sure yeah. that you 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 are engulfed with fear. Oh, yeah. And by the time you realize you have bowed to them without knowing. And and these are things that are happening. Let's look at some of them in, in, in our era. Yeah. Some of the schemes or the things that are going on that we are not aware. Or people are not aware of this as a scheme right when you talk about the wilds as you already said it is a very cunning way okay it's not that simple it's very complex mm -hmm. very 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 complex to the point that we normally know it is the congregation who are normally trapped okay. by this deception mm -hmm. okay unfortunately now at the church the men of god are even following the deceit of um the Antichrist, okay, thinking that they are working for God, and they will now come and tell you, even your challenges are from somewhere or from your homes. They point out to the fact that there is a generational case. Okay. They point to the fact that there is something beside God because of spiritual things that exist. Okay. And by this, they've now been able to capture everybody, especially the Christians from knowing what really God has put in their place. Now, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let you go on. But let's look at it. Words of the devil talking about strategy schemes. Mm. So how do I combat such schemes? For instance, uh, whenever 
uh, you go to KJT or through town. Those days, my, my, my grandma would tell me, <laughs> please make sure that your money is secured. So, because there are pickpocketers in town. Mm -hmm. So, must I carry an AK-47 mm -hmm. or carry a machete? <laughs> and they'll be wearing it so that people will move away from me. How do I do it? Because there are schemes. How do I go about it? That is what I want us to know. How can we overcome this wealth of the devil? Yeah. You have what to does it take? Um, you open your eyes uh, 360 degrees. I'm not sure to be laughing. How to be wise. So it means it takes wisdom. wisdom. Wow. If you get wisdom, wow. know their ways, know their strategies. Mm -hmm. If you are not aware of it, that is where they can overtake you. But if you are aware, okay. then you also devise ways and means of preventing them. Okay. So you have to seek knowledge and the wisdom. Then you open your eyes to see those strategies. When they are coming, you know that, oh, this one, this guy is coming to trick me. Hmm. I've seen <laughs> it from you afar. Know, uh, Stephen Adwitcher, the prophet of God, says something today. He said, Christians will sometimes go and rent a house with broken <laughs> windows and yeah. doors and believe that God will protect, God will protect them from yeah. burglary and thieves. Yeah, yeah. And how do you expect this thing <laughs> you to can't happen? You God your watchman. Your watchman. No. <laughs> it, it seems we are not uh, 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 applying wisdom or we are not mm. operating with the highest level of wisdom that God expects us to live as Christians and as believers. That is why many of these things have misled us. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. We are not using the wisdom that we have to look. So let's look at it. So, oh, like, Adun Chedi even mentioned that he is coming out with all these messages yes. so that it will awaken the Philadelphia members, okay. the family of Philadelphia. Mm. So if you are actually a family member of the Philadelphia, Philadelphia, the moment you hear this word, it will attract you. It will win you for Christ. Okay, but Mike, I, I think you wanted to talk. Yeah, if you can I, am, add something then. I want to add an instant. Yes. For instance, you know, we've been hearing of, they've been saying spiritual marriage. Spiritual marriage. Spiritual marriage. And some men of God have been capitalizing upon this spiritual yes, marriage yes. just to lure people, uh -huh. buy this, buy that, just to make money. Yes. Papa said that um, where or when did they collect your customary <laughs> rights? The diary. Who did they your, pay Yeah, to? your bride price. Yes. When did it even happen? <laughs> that we go to the extent of accepting these words and kotowing to these words for certain men of God to do pass. Wow. You see, there's also one thing he said today, Stephen Adun Chedua, the prophet of God said, he said, when God created us, we are the creatures of God, or we were yeah. created by God, and yeah. for that matter, he expects that we give him his allegiance, we worship him. Worship him. But because wisdom and common sense has eluded us, yeah. we go in to create something. Mm, and then what we, we have created, for it to worship us, we are rather worshiping. worshiping. Yeah, right. <laughs> and it's total upset. <laughs> it. Yes. Yeah. How do I worship what I have created? Yeah. So we have to worship God because yeah. he created us. But now we are worshiping the stones and certain objects that we have created. Sense. It means wisdom. So my brother, beloved, you need wisdom. Wisdom to combat the wars of the devil, not Masseter. Yeah. You do not need those prayers and those keys, stones, to combat <laughs> it. Highest level of wisdom. And you're going to be blessed. Okay, please let's look at verse number 12, where we are going to take it into details. I think that is yeah. where he, he dwelt a lot with a message. The verse 12, and this is where they have been said this. If you tell them <laughs> that there is no other power apart from Christ, they'll tell you, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, <laughs> that is, yeah. but that against is principalities, it. against mm. powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now let's look at the first one. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but most of the directions, most of the prayers, yeah, and even our mindset is so much fixed to someone in our homes that after our war night prayers, we want to see someone die. And the moment you go on, you hear that your auntie or your mom is sick, <laughs> you start jubilating. Uh -huh. On your the prayer has worked. <laughs> <laughs> so we are not wrestling against flesh. What yeah. is flesh and blood? Who is flesh and blood? Well, flesh and blood stands for your fellow human being. Yeah. Um, your fellow brethren. Papa even cited an example. Your mom. Your mom. Your brother. Your, your brother. In fact, your siblings. The yes. whole entire family. We are not wrestling against them. Okay. So if you hear maybe a man of God 
trying to tell you that the cause of your problems mm -hmm. is by a bewitchment from your mother a human an being an innocent being wow then it means we are going contrary to, to, to this, this word which says that we do we do not wrestle against flesh flesh and, and blood. blood yeah wow okay let's look at and then the next one is principalities principalities and i know principalities is derived from the word principal yeah mm -hmm. So this thing has eluded most of us that he didn't know. So Mr. Daniel Osa, let's look at it. Principalities. How do you or how do you resist these principalities? What are their schemes? How do they operate in our society? And how would they get you to be so much afraid that you go back bowing to them? Mm -hmm. Right. The first is that you shall not bow down to any other gods besides me. Okay. Now the system being used by the Antichrist is that just by common saying, which are normally myths or philosophical things, okay. they say things that you don't even have anything to prove that they exist, and just to put fear into you. Okay. They will just tell you that within a particular generation, mm -hmm. there's never been anybody who has ever been successful. Mm -hmm. So. Don't waste your time trying to study. Okay. Uh, in these particular homes, mm -hmm. when we marry, we don't give birth. Okay. And these are all things that they say just to put an eyes on you. It's almost telling that there is something existing because of God, uh, besides God. Sorry. Okay. So now, basically, it means. These are spoken words. Yeah, spoken yes. words. We do not know the principal. That mm -hmm. principal who gave that decree. That because it, the head, they can be your great great grandparents. Yeah. And these are words that they have spoken. For instance, in some homes, they will tell you, oh, we used to be rich. But we couldn't give birth. And because of that, they have taken the Very money rich. from the family yeah. and exchanged for childbirth. Yeah. So this family, no one can be rich. You can never progress. Mm -hmm. And these are critical examples of words that are spoken. The principalities yeah. and how they operate yeah yeah so yeah. Mike, mm -hmm. let's let's throw yeah, more light so on as this. papa said they are as you said yes spoken words that are being established mm -hmm. by people in higher authority yes mm -hmm. those in the higher ranks yes in organizations like the sick the um, occult groups even from two houses yes oh it's a taboo you are not supposed to go to um the riverside on tuesdays yes but they, they, they formulated all these things for certain reasons. Okay. Yeah, which we never understood them. And then also, um, in, under the health sector, yes. I want to get there. Um, there are certain words that we normally say, um, this disease doesn't have any remedy. A disease like maybe diabetes, a disease like hepatitis, um, maybe when you get married to a sickler. You're also going to bear sickle cell patients or um, children. Children. And we they've been saying So that you also believe yeah. it and yes. then it starts because manifesting in it your life. It starts manifesting in your life. So as a child of God, so far as you have the armor of God, you are supposed to resist these words. Wow. According to the prophet of God. Wow. That is what you're supposed to say. Today he said that when anyone tells you certain words like this, just tell him Excuse me. <laughs> 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 okay, Mrs. Yama, let's, let's take uh, your, your take on yeah, the uh, principalities. Yeah, as my two brethren have spoken, Mr. Radu Chedia, the prophet of God, explained it to be that it has become some utterances of those uh, higher people or those big men or those and who have been And some of them, we didn't even come to meet them. No, yes. we so don't even know them. But it has come to yeah. stay. Yes. It has come to stay. It has become like a philosophy of... Uh, family mm -hmm. towns or whatever as you say mm -hmm. don't yes. eat from uh don't eat the fish from this river yes it's a matter of you believing it that it will work on you okay mm. he even set an example that he himself when he went to his hometown mm -hmm. there's a stream there yes and they said that there's that stream nobody can go he wanted to cross to Good. you can't yes. cross it get some trees to go there are some reptiles and especially snakes yes. the moment mm -hmm. you want to set your food inside uh, your foot inside the snakes will come and attack you but he went through it with a brother or a cousin mm -hmm. without having any effects why because what is in him is greater than what is in there what are they believe okay. so he didn't believe it so though they can uh maybe set it for the 
town or the village or whatever that oh don't go to farm these days or we don't go we don't uh, fish from this river that day you are obliging because you are giving respect to authority, to authority. okay but you don't obly or you don't believe it because you also believe that there's something because in the, there. The fear yeah. of the unknown. That that has the got fear of the unknown. The fear of, yes. yes. Okay. So, so basically, the personalities are spoken words. Yeah, this was in every family. And does it yeah. put every some town. fear in you? Yeah. yeah. It cuts across every yeah. tribe. Wow. Every town. It's everywhere. But okay. because you want to obey authority, you just go by that. But you don't have any faith. Meaning, in that, any you just in that. We combat it. By resisting those words, yes. you yeah. do not make the fear of it grip you. Grip so you that all. you carry mm. out directions yes. to go and break yes. yeah. and then bind those things in your family. Some uh, women say that when you are in a family and you organize yourself, you, you, you conduct yourself, say that you go through the normal, uh, right way of getting married, you won't give birth. But those who will be chasing men yes. from mm -hmm. left, from mm -hmm. wow. wherever, they will be. It's like you don't have to, as a believer, you don't have to accept that. Okay. Let alone okay. to have effect on okay. you. Now, believers I, I, and viewers around the globe, I know you are enjoying today's segment too. But we'll go for a short break. When we come back, the discussion continues. It's getting heated and interesting in here. Stay tuned and do not move away from your TV sets. Have you downloaded the Believers Worship Center app yet? Here is a step-by-step -step guideline to download the app onto your smartphones and other Android devices. Open the Google Play Store app on your Android device. Search Believers Worship Center app. This is how the app appears on Google Play Store. Now. Click on install. It will ask for permission to install. Simply press accept. Wait until the installation is 100% complete. Kindly remember to leave your views and comments in the review section on the Google Play Store and also rate the app. That's it. You are ready to launch your Believers Worship Center app, which can now be found in the icons on your app. Beloved, you are welcome back to Learn for the Prophet, and I know you are enjoying today's segment. You are really Notice something or writing something down and I believe that after today's segment, you're also going to be renewed. We are still streaming live on all our WhatsApp platform, uh, social media platforms. Yes, uh, Believers Worship Center, on YouTube and also on Facebook. Then you also have the opportunity to send your comments to WhatsApp 
0241-775009. You can also interact with us on landline on 0201-169-511. 0201-169-511 or 0266-494385. So we will take your submission as time goes on and then you also read it out. Now, before we went for the short break, we were talking about some of the schemes that are being deployed by the principalities. And these are things that we know, they are spoken words in our society. And because of that, it has belittled some of us. It has put fear in us, so that we are unable to come out from our self and then uh, express the God-given gift in us. We are unable to achieve what we are supposed to do. And because of that, we are carrying out directions in the name of fighting against this, not knowing that by so doing, we are worshiping or we are bowing to the Antichrist. Yeah. So, so we are going to just uh, talk about it a few and then we move on to power and then authorities, how they also manipulate us and then Christendom. Yeah. Yeah. I want to cite an example from the Bible. Okay. Um, the Bible states that no servant is greater than the master. Okay. Jesus being the founder of Christianity mm -hmm. has set a pace which he wants us to follow. Okay. Jesus hailed from Nazareth. Nazareth, yes. A town that is being looked down upon. Okay. That nothing good can come out from, from Nazareth. Nazareth. And even from the home of carpenters. Yes, from the home <laughs> of carpenters. So had it not been that Jesus had won the whole armor of God, okay. would it not have been able to come out as a great man mm -hmm. from Nazareth? Jesus wow. came out from Nazareth as wow. a great man. Wow. And this is very deep. This is very, yeah. very deep. Yes. Uh, Mr. Osai, let's, let's look at another instance. How these principalities are also manipulating people. Said that we are also unable to express ourselves as Christians. Right. <laughs> these principalities, uh, be them kinship, any sort of authority, that is higher. Uh, this time, what is even scary most Christians yes. is that when they set the rules, by telling you that we don't do this, for instance, we don't visit the stream on a particular day. Yeah. And unfortunately, probably you don't know and you even get there. They don't just only sort of chastise you, but then you are forced to come and pacify the gods okay. by producing some maybe fowls or even slaughtering okay. a sheep or a goat. Hmm. And by that, they are able to extort from you. Okay. It makes other people who are outside or also within a community afraid and then they are forced to believe that yes there are other gods that are also okay. there okay. please uh, let me even add the reason why they even force you to do all this is that they will tell you that if you don't slaughter the fowl you will die mm -hmm. and even cite instances where people for instance <laughs> disobeyed and mm -hmm. they had some cases and then mm. their families dying here and there so it is one way of taking you captive and that is what they do now and then. Okay. I think that's what Mrs. Dorothy Wabini Yama said. You only have to oblige by giving respect to authority because mm -hmm. you believe that anyone in authority was ordained by God because mm -hmm. God put people in higher places. But you do not do so because of the fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. That, that when I go, there's a power somewhere, mm -hmm. there's a spirit somewhere that is going to work. Now, so please put back the scripture. Yes. So... For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now let's look at against powers. How do they also operate? Now we've come to know that principalities is about spoken word that is found in families, homes, towns, societies, and almost everywhere that you go. We don't do things this way. What about these powers? What are they? People believe that there are powers somewhere that, uh, so you are, unless you bind it up. <laughs> so let's, let's enlighten our viewers. How do these powers operate? Okay. Stephen, I do the prophet of God, explaining that they are also visible things, things that are made and you can see it visibly. Mm -hmm. The first one was 
a spoke, uh, spoken, spoken word. word. Yeah. But this one are things that can be seen visibly. So they put that uh, hope in you that there's some power in that okay. images. So if I get to you, then it's, it's like any visible thing that they will make you believe, believe that it that also have power. power. Okay. So they can use any object at all. Any object at all. Some use shells, river bodies. River bodies. They will tell you there's something. There's a god yes. in the river body. So you have to maybe bow before the way you need something. Go and bow. Come, go and pour libation. Go and do some rituals and get your solution. And that, because they believe that there's something in there. Okay. So you as a believer, you don't have to believe that mm -hmm. because for you, apart from God, there's nothing. Okay. So you have no other power, no other source of power, no other uh, being apart from God. Even they can even uh, carve this one, carve image and mm -hmm. carve one, like a monument or whatever. Yes. Put it there and then they will be tying it with red cloth, mm -hmm. with some bees around mm -hmm. it. Some they will intentionally pour some blood or red yes. oil on it and they tell that there's power in it. He mm -hmm. even set an example that, an instance, where a uh, fetish priest left mm -hmm. his because he brought all the those objects images that those mm -hmm. images mm -hmm. i like i like that one uh, yes <laughs> i don't want the, 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 the God. <laughs> those, no, those, those images, images and out and there and just to dry them uh -huh. they want to have some fresh air. i don't know so <laughs> he left and went to the farm and when he came unfortunately for him there was heavy downpour, downpour. yes there was and a rain when he came back according to him he saw that the images were still there and they had been beaten by the rain. And for you know, some had even collapsed. Yes. They were lying down. Then then the rain has washed his, them away. Yes. That you can't he even recognize his them. Child, they said, Hey, Akwesi, were you not here when it was raining? Why didn't you pick? I said, Oh, I came there. I, I told them to. It is coming eh, to rain, so they eh, should go in. Yes. I said this several times, but they didn't mind me. If they say they are so that they, is they telling you that <laughs> there's nothing in them. <laughs> if they are they should walk. I Why do you expect that little boy to carry you? <laughs> okay. So they are just putting some ideas mm -hmm. in you that there's something in there. There's okay. nothing in there. If they are, he even said that if they are actually powerful or there's something be. Uh, in they have power yeah, in them. In them yes. Why are they not walking? Why are they not shaking? Why are okay. they not blinking their eyes? Okay. They are just toys. They are toys. They, are they toys. represent yeah. nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Mr. Osai, let, let's look at it. Powers. How they, they, they work. Because we've come to know that these powers, or in other versions of the Bible, we talk of authorities, yeah. are just their physical objects. That we purport, or we make it seem as if they carry power and authority. Mm. For instance, Someone can tell you that I'm going to use this river body or whatsoever to curse you. Mm -hmm. and, and because you urinated or you did this mm -hmm. around this place, mm -hmm. that is why yeah. this is working against you. Yeah. Then they'll put a, a talisman or something <laughs> over there that this talisman can protect you against. Mm -hmm. So, so last time on, on, on uh, the personality interview, you saw the, the, the heap of uh, these objects yeah, that someone has gone for mm -hmm. because he believed or he was made to believe that these are the things that can protect him. And because of that, he was gripped with fear and also bowed to them. Mm -hmm. Let's look at how some of them, some of the other things they, they do. Me, before Mr. Abu Afakwa came in, yes. if I heard his testimony rightly, he mentioned that initially, when he sees those things, people will come and pour some uh, eggs and eggs other and those carries, yes, mm. around his shop, and he will just what brush them, sweep, sweep them, them away. In away, and you wouldn't be afraid. Why are people say, hey, 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 oh? He would just brush it up, and nothing was happening to him. But the moment he started what being believing involved with the them, fear, yes. and started believing, that is where he landed him in that wow. seat. Wow! Thank you very much for throwing light more on than that one too. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Uh, so, Bra Bra Michael, let's look at it. These powers, how they yeah. also work. Some other instances in yeah. our society, in our homes, that we have these powers also being uh, uh, operating, so that it has captivated most Christians without knowing it. Yes. Yeah. Um, thank you very much. Okay. I want to start by citing an example from the Bible. Always okay. have been doing yes. that. that yeah. is good. Um, someone like King Nebuchadnezzar uh -huh. was very, very powerful to an extent that he built an idol. Yes. Which he wanted the whole world to bow to. Okay. To worship. If you don't, out of his authority, you'll be killed. Yes. There came these three young men 
um, Shadrach, Mizak, and Abednego. Yeah. yeah, because they had the armor of God on. Yes, they were f they they mastered courage in the word of God. Mm -hmm. They never bowed. Yes, just to prove that nothing exists. There's no power anywhere mm -hmm. except in the word of God. Yes. And Shadrach, Mizak, and Abednego did these things to prove. The supremacy and the power of God, of God in the sight of King Nebuchadnezzar. Yes. Papa said something that these images, as Mama was saying, they don't have any math to alter certain words. Mm -hmm. We only hear from the fetish priest. In yes. fact, now the gods are around though. And uh -huh. this is what they are saying. So, <laughs> uh, uh, this is what they are saying. He has someone to also in interpret, interpret it. it. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, they are in. Mm -hmm. they, are in. Uh, they will be in fact, trying to concord so many things. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So um, this is how they operate the okay. powers. Right. Okay. Uh, apart from the fact that we can see objects which have been so forth be tagged with some high sort of authority or power and mm -hmm. that they are able to give you things that probably you have requested for or they are able to even kill mm -hmm. or curtail your life. Whatever you bring to them, they are able to uh, give you your needs. This, the prophet of God, was yeah. also trying to direct our attention to that aside the fact that we have physical things, the idols that we see and we believe or mm -hmm. we are made to believe that they possess some powers. Now at the church, men of God have now made themselves into some figures yes head figures I, I, I and they, they tell you that, way. that mm -hmm. they have some powers mm -hmm. that if you come and see them they can even go and then bring your womb mm -hmm. that has been put somewhere mm -hmm. they are just trying to take your mind off what is happening at the uh, shrine because right now we believe that oh the shrine and other places are where the wrong things are done okay but when it happens at the church we don't even see it this is the main reason why Stephen Adum Chedua, the prophet of God, is bringing out these three powerful messages. Because they are the messages that have eluded Christians, okay. the path to Christ. Okay. And they are following a direction. They think, oh, they are really worshipping God. Okay. But beside that, they have already cotoled to the Antichrist. This is what pastors are doing in the church now. <laughs> now you, you, you put on your TV station, uh, your, your TV on, and then you see... This men of God, the way they hit their chest and talk as if they have power. If you want to be rich, yeah. as, uh, you that you are watching me, I'm talking to you. If you want to be rich, come and see me. And and now they have even some given some days, some names. Then Red so. Friday, yeah. blue, so so and so. And when you come, I will give you this, I will give you that. I will go to everywhere, like the marine spirits, yeah. to go and then take your womb for you. This is what is happening. Mm -hmm. And they make you see as if they have power. Mm -hmm. So now, believers or Christians, some of us are worshipping or bowing to even the man of God. That, is it. that without this man of God, hey, I would have been mm -hmm. dead. That is it. Recently, I can't remember, I met, I met uh, an auntie of mine, and this was the same thing she was saying. If it hadn't been this pastor. <laughs> hey, and I was, I was like, really? So it's good. Not Stephen, God again. It is a God. Mm -hmm. so if it hadn't been this pastor yeah. that I saw or met, hey, now they would have finished me. <laughs> you see, so I am so glad that Stephen Adun mm -hmm. the prophet of God, is helping to remove the skills on our eyes and now we are seeing better we are knowing the truth and we know as the scripture says that the truth shall set us free yeah. so as we now know we are going to be free indeed now let's continue with uh where we left off with the powers now let's look at rulers of darkness of this world rulers of darkness of this world do you see that these machinations or the strategies are kind of linked yeah. some of them spoken words Mm -hmm. And some others do their objects, Starting, which yes. have these spoken words concerning them, like this river, so so and so. Now let's look at how the rulers of darkness of this world also operate. How is it like? What are some of the all trances? Because this has got to deal with words and schemes yeah. that we have to resist. Whenever we hear them, we have to brush them off. We shouldn't pay attention to them. So what are some of the words that are spoken about the rulers of the darkness of this world? How they are able to steal your, your faith from you. Said so that they put fear in you and cause you to bow. Um, okay. 
And Stephen Adunche, they are the prophet of God, mentioned that these are the words that are used when we're talking about the rulers of darkness okay. of this world. Witches meeting on trees, mm. going to even mentioned that a certain pastor says some uh, witches. He heard that some witches were going to have a meeting at a particular place, and he had to and pray, he had to pray to seriously so that they can't. That. He said, they, they can't miss. <laughs> this one is concerned. It's concerned. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have time for that. Mm -hmm. Who is a witch for him to waste his time on? Mm -hmm. So these are when you can relate of these are the things we normally say. Oh, the witches are going to meet here. They are flying abroad. They are meeting at a junction. Mm -hmm. This occult and all they are doing. They are the rulers of darkness. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Some those words portray, portray yeah. the rulers of darkness. Somebody okay. will tell you, oh, I'm a witch. I, 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 I turned into a snake and I wanted to bite you or whatever <laughs> it is. Look at that. Okay. But well, Michael, as before uh, mommy yeah. came in, you had wanted to speak. No. Let, 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 let me take a submission. I'm adding up to what yes. she just said. Um, we, Papa spoke of words like the spiritual realm the spiritual realm mm -hmm. yeah. that is the order of the day now the yeah. order of the day being used by most men of god yes that um your womb mm -hmm. has been taken into the spiritual realm yes maybe under the sea under the sea mm -hmm. papa cited an example and he said that even when a, a, a doctor wants to operate on you and then remove your womb yes the doctor has to seek your permission mm -hmm. first wow. your consent yeah your consent that yes. is it yeah and you sign the form mm -hmm. you have to sign an, an another undertaking yes. before your womb will be operated on or will be taken out yes so when you hear words like they have taken your womb and taken it or yes. thrown it into the sea so that is the main reason why you, you are you are unable to conceive Sieve, or bear yes. baby yeah there's no logic in wow. this <laughs> wow. whilst even at times um excuse me when the ladies are bathing yes. at times when they insect their hand over they they can feel that the womb is there it's there but the you are saying it's taking off yes spiritually oh. spiritually <laughs> that's what and these are the the cunning words the cunning words they are using to wow. 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 Uh, 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 Stephen wow Stephen the prophet of god said one thing he said for instance, you do not smoke cannabis or weed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if someone says, I have bought the cannabis for you, or you when I went it. to town, I bought mm -hmm. this for you, will you accept, accept it? it. Oh. You reject it. You just yes. take it away from here. But this is the case. They said they've bought a sickness, sickness for, for you, you, and you accept it. a disease for you, failure for you, oh. and you have accepted it. You Within it. you, you've believed in it, and because of that, you are performing mm -hmm. certain Second rituals, directions. directions. What is this? <laughs> There's no wisdom or Be common sense in this. Yeah, sense. because you believed it, fear has already engulfed you, so you have to go Yes, that is what you believe. Yeah. And then the faith will just run away. run away. The light of God will now grow dim. dim. Then darkness will yeah. take over your life. That is the work of the Antichrist. Spiritual yeah. world. Mm. Yes, we they will meet tell on you trees. you are married to a spirit, that is spiritual marriage. Uh -huh. And where did the family meet? To take your Let diary. Let alone mm. to take your diary. John is <laughs> <laughs> we but meet on trees. Uh, uh, yes, for me, it is this time that you are able to touch or beat me. You are yeah. beating me now. As uh -huh. some students and other yeah. people yes. say, you wait in the night. You have gotten yes. me during the day. I also <laughs> need to put for put in the, in the night. night. Telling you, you that there's see. something there. Yes, we, we, we came to take your head to go and play football. <laughs> Look at this. I said it. <laughs> That's why you are feeling headache. That's why you are feeling <laughs> headache. <laughs> And we believe most of this. But, uh, yes, Mr. Osai, let's, let's look at it, some of those things. Because there are so many words that are spoken concerning this. Many other things we hear pertaining these issues. And, and uh, as I said, because we didn't have wisdom, yeah. when we hear this, then we coil up. Mm. Fear just takes over. And, and you don't even know what to do. So because of this, when the man of God tells you to bring him a thousand cities, two thousand, you are ready to pay. Ah. So now don't change the prophet of God if you mentioned that if you are not careful, you continue to perform these directions until the last penny of yours goes away. Ah. All your capital. You will be all them. You will hold to my day. That will be yes. in the yes. uh, You have to credit next it. Sunday when I'm coming, coming, make sure you be there. <laughs> <laughs> right. You see, you see like um the whole package yes. was started uh three weeks ago. Or let's say the two weeks ago. It is the third week. Okay. Starting from the era of awareness, the era of awareness. Mm -hmm. antichrist, sis, sis, sis. and then also 
looking at it from the second coming of Christ, the rapture. which we also connected with the rapture, and today, the armor of God. You see, the whole purpose of the message is to let all mankind know that there is nothing aside from God. He is the only true God, the Alpha and Omega, and beside him, there is nothing. You see, the, the fact is, talking about these uh, principalities and getting to the part that now they have changed their motive. Mm -hmm. See, they started by just giving you mere mention of things that will scare you. Okay. Then afterwards, they bring an object. Mm -hmm. They've now also noticed that people are also getting wise. Okay. So this is the next level of scheme wow. that mm -hmm. the Antichrist is using. Mm -hmm. And this is even taking place mostly in churches. Churches. Right. We know that when you go to the shrine, they also tell you that, right, this is happening in the spiritual world. If you bring this and that, I'll be able to pacify the gods, okay. and then you go through. Now, this is the point that the man of God is seen that people have even shined, uh, let's say, uh, gone away they've from gone it. They've gone away. Yeah, they've, yeah, they've that, departed you, you from that. Know, in, in the church, we, we reverse curses and, and yeah. other things. Back to the some churches, right. Back to so, the <laughs> you know, so, someone will come and then, uh, with, let's say with a bloated tummy and then the mm. man of God will say you've been cursed uh -huh. yeah. with this river. He is rather so you well. It's coming from you. And mm. so you have to bring some eggs. For the Look at this. Yeah. Yes. For so the now, <laughs> they, they have imported it mm -hmm. into the church where many people have gone to take refuge. Yes. Unfortunately, where you are taking refuge is where they are now opening up wow. and making things even the worst for you. Wow. And everything that they're talking about, first, it's not a hearsay that you can even go and ask somebody mm -hmm. or an object that you can easily also verify. Mm -hmm. Now they are taking you into the spiritual world where nobody even knows where it exists. Where is the spiritual world? Yes. <laughs> we is don't there know where any other place apart from heaven? Yes. The dwelling so, place of God Almighty. Now they have mm -hmm. formulated and schemed things to their sort of... Uh, Advantage. <laughs> yeah. There is nothing you can do about wow. it. Wow. Wow. So wow. right now, if I tell you that your womb has been taken spiritually. Mm -hmm. I also have to return it to you spiritually. spiritually. So whatever <laughs> rituals or rites I perform, <laughs> I'll tell you I have solved it. Yes. And there is no question that you can put to me. Okay. Because we are not dealing with physical work. Okay. Man of God has taken this as an advantage and been able to take their congregation through a whole lot of stress wow. at the end of it. Okay. It's not only the stress, but okay. you have to part with your money and wealth. Okay. And this is... Uh, beloved, you are, you are watching Second Chance TV, Learn from the Prophet. So if you just tune in, uh, you are still on uh, Learn from the Prophet. And today we are talking about the armor of God, putting on the armor of God. So you can also send your comments on our WhatsApp platform, 0241-775009. And you can also call on 0201. One six nine five one one or zero two six six four nine four three eight five. Now you can also follow us on Facebook Believers Worship Center and on YouTube Believers Worship Center. You can subscribe and then get our notifications as and when we go on air. Now, if you also have a phone and you are traveling along, and you always want to stay glued and then get the portion or your portion of the messages that are being preached by Stephen Adun Chedra, the prophet of God, you can go to Google Play Store, download our mobile app, Believers Worship Center mobile app, and you can enjoy live videos and all other programs on it. So now as we are talking, also streaming live on the Believers Worship Center mobile app. Let your comments come and then we shall take your comments and then read it for everyone to know that you are also following. Your questions it's also work out now let's look at the fourth one so you realize that mm. they are working in four cardinal ways yeah. north they are there south. you go south. to the east they are there west, west and then south mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you understand yeah. Yeah. so now they are using the principalities the spoken words yeah. mm -hmm. the next thing they go with images, images. just to make you bow to it or put fear in you that this image is, is so so and so and so mm -hmm. now they have even come to us in the church. And apart from that, other words that they speak, mm -hmm. making you to know that there is a spiritual realm or somewhere. word somewhere. 
Then let's look at the last one. That talks of this. Yes, yeah, the last one it says, I guess spiritual wickedness in high places for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places so what are these spiritual wickedness in high places we hear of them and these people will tell you a lot of things concerning this and how do these also work what are some of their machinations what are some of the traps that will ensnare or captivate you so that you get so much gripped with fear yeah. that whatever they want you to do, you do it. Let's look at this and then we'll go to our lines and take phone calls and WhatsApp messages. Let's look at it briefly. Okay, okay. um, I think Papa talked about Stephen Adumchidia, yeah. Stephen Adumchidia, the, yes. the prophet of God, uh -huh. talked about these principalities okay. being demons. demons. And he has explained demons before. Okay. That, yeah. That's the spiritual wickedness. Yeah, the yes. spiritual okay. wickedness. Uh -huh. You know, um, I want to start this way. God is spirit. Yes. And he dwells in his word. In his word. You okay. cannot find God anywhere except his in his word. word. Okay. So any other word mm -hmm. that goes contrary to the spoken word of God. God. Wow. Trying to combat or oppose the supremacy of God. Wow. His existence. Yes. Is a demon. Is a demon. An unclean spirit. Okay. So, in churches, we normally hear, I'm a dragon. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm that. I'm so, so, and so. Mm -hmm. I caused this problem in the family, mm -hmm. the family lines. I'm the cause of this. I'm behind all so, so, and so. Okay. They do all these things just to get your mind off the armor of God. The armor of God. The word of God, which oh, wow. says that I'm the one who kills mm -hmm. and gives life. And gives life. I wound and, and heal. Heals. You know, of late, um, when anyone develops an unhealing wound, yes, we used to hear that uh, from this demonic worship. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've been cutting <laughs> meat on the wound. Can, can you okay. cut meat on someone? Imagine. Look at this. <laughs> Chopping board. Yes, we <laughs> chopping board. That's the exact <laughs> word. They've used it as a chopping, as a chopping board. board. <laughs> that is the right word. Yes. And um, we've been hearing more mm. also um, about like the cops at the mug. Yes. We have eaten the flesh of the maybe a kwesi menu. <laughs> Someone mm. will say, I chopped or I ate the hand, I ate the leg. Yeah, yeah. How about the one at the mug? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe well, we should yes, stop constructing yes, more. Yes, yes, yes. Let's look at that. <laughs> now, you see, mm -hmm. these people allow the, the evil spirits to manifest in the church. Yes. And they speak. They, look at the words that they speak mm -hmm. forth. These words bring disunity. It angers you so much that when you go home, you're ready to kill. <laughs> because look at the things that they will say. And, and as you said, Stephen Adun Chedua, the prophet of God, said, these are spirits that of dead people that could even make to heaven, heaven yeah. so they've been to the other realm yes. and they've seen this and because they've been with you they know, you know stuff's the relating yeah. to you yeah. Yeah. and they can give you details right. and, and and when they speak hmm. but they, they don't want it christ in the bible did not entertain them yeah. and even paul, paul. Mm -hmm. yes yeah. you see and the, look at the things that the if demon possessed girl was talking about paul Good they were things. all True. Yeah. But Paul asked her to shut up and even cast them out. Yes. But why do you allow them to talk? You go to the church and you say, Oh, can you now say it yeah. all? Uh, please uh, give that give her a microphone. microphone. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. What did you do? Let's look at it. Yeah. Why do they do such stuff in church? So that you get to know that they are more powerful. Wow. And supposing they had even used any prayer material on that person before the manifestation started. Mm -hmm. Look at the market for the or the sale that's Mm -hmm. or turn over of that uh, prayer material okay the sales will go high okay so for personal gain so you see on church they'll be pouring the oil on them and there'll be manifestations that and that day everyone is going to buy that oil, oil. That is it. and look at the names they give to search there will be mm -hmm. shortage covenant breaking oil, oil. oil. <laughs> uh, spiritual marriage oil. spiritual marriage breaking oil uh, what what break what? and lose oil, break break lose oil. oil. look at this all kinds hmm. of oil spiritual protection yes yes so what will happen to those materials? You rush. Yeah. Wow. So that you want protection, you don't want anything to uh, harm you. 
But this is what is happening in the mm. churches. There, there are so many. Now, when you are a pastor and you pray for someone, the person does not fall or speak forth. You, you, are, you are not powerful. <laughs> yes. You are not powerful. <laughs> so Santa, you have to really push you. You have to push you. <laughs> and, and force you to <laughs> force talk. You to talk. <laughs> When you deny me that which they will kill you. <laughs> somebody said somebody said he, he wanted to resist. <laughs> so he, <laughs> he placed yeah. the legs apart <laughs> before yes. he was aware. Then, <laughs> right. Associate pastors booted <laughs> it's, okay. it's so funny. You only look at some of these things. He must fall at all costs. Yes, yes. He's okay. a PC. <laughs> um mm -hmm. Stephen Adun Chebia, mm -hmm. the prophet of God. Is trying to draw attention to the fact that all these happenings are not just by accident. Okay. It is somebody's orchestrated plan to make sure that all mankind lose their focus and deviate from what God has planned for them on this planet Earth. This they do by telling you that there are so many powers that can control your life. Mm. And that's why they ask the demons or they, they even uh, support those who come up with those demonic utterances mm -hmm. by asking them to bring out more facts. Because when the facts are more concrete, mm -hmm. then it makes it well established. And as we treated uh, during the era of awareness, if you, those who really don't understand what the denom demonic spirits are, yeah. when you go back, you can get the true facts. They are just people who died mm -hmm. and by nature of the addicts, they couldn't get access to purgatory okay. and they're supposed to have gone to the darkness of darkness. Mm -hmm. However, they resisted. Yes. But like the man of God said, they have just seven years lifespan. And within these seven years, the intention is that if they are not making it to heaven, then no one should make it. Then there, there is also <laughs> nobody making it. Okay. So the intention is also mm -hmm. to manifest mm -hmm. through. Yes, that is why we are saying that hmm. we are talking about spiritual wickedness. wickedness. Mm -hmm. They are yes. very wicked. They are also using that as angles to draw attention totally of God. Wow. And what makes it even worse is that it is not manifesting at the shrine, at the church. Where you think that, oh, there is God. And at the end of it, okay. you lose the fact that there is God. Okay. So we are going to open our lines and then uh, take in phone calls. And then after that, we will come back. Now, before that, let's take some messages from our WhatsApp platform. Say, so good, good evening. You guys are doing well. Keep it up. God bless you. Oh, I'm Ricky from Kumasi. Ricky, the Lord bless you. Let's look at one. He says, uh, let's look at this. He uh, says, yes. It, this type of message is what I was searching for a long time. <laughs> we are in the church and so afraid of housefly. Abba. <laughs> Papa, thank you. Yes. The Lord bless you. But your name did they come. Please, when you send the messages, do add your name and where you are <laughs> calling or where you send the message from. <laughs> is that house flies? <laughs> and this is what is happening. It's true. You see, what your calls and then oh. so many things. Hmm. Hey. So, what is the man he grew? Oh, please send your messages uh, in full. And then your name. Say, Adumo, we thank God for giving us Papa. Next week, continue teaching us. It's knowledge that we seek. I tell Papa, I tell Papa, I love you. Please, Papa will get to know. God bless you. The Lord bless you for coming through. Adumo, Adumo, indeed, God sent Papa to save captives. Okay, now let's go to our lines. We have. Laura uh, from Atosu. Atosu on the line. Adumo. Adumo. Yeah. Adumo. Please, can you position yourself where? Your line is breaking. Can yes. you position yourself where? Yes, uh -huh. I think I can hear you better. Okay. Oh, my question is, can I talk? Yes, please. Okay. 
Oh, my my question is, uh, you are fit from the armor of God. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, but you are trying to explain to us that there's nothing in the spiritual realm unless for only God's power. Okay. But some of the prophets, uh, this is our telling us that uh, there are there are powers and uh, those powers they also operate. Mm -hmm. And what and they also work it through human beings. They work it through human beings. But once you are you are saying there's nothing that that one it contradicts me. I don't understand. Okay. Because I heard a met a person from abroad. Okay. And uh, testified that uh, he was sent to Ghana by his sister. And the his sister confessed that he sent her to Ghana, mm -hmm. and they have given her uh, this thing. They have given it. But that it was very difficult for her to uh, to heal it. He okay. sent it to uh, hospitals and so many places, and we were not able to heal. So the sister, I had this, that is her, her younger sister, she uh, she wounded her. Okay. Uh huh. So for that one, that as you are explain, explaining to us that there's nothing. Uh, powers, the smashing powers or mm -hmm. authorities like that. How can this also happen? Okay. Because Th that the sister confessed that yes. they, they, they did that to her in a spiritual realm. And they sent it to hospital that it was difficult for her to be healed. And I don't okay. understand okay. this place. I want you to I, I think I've, 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 I've got your message. Me. I've got That's your message. I'm calling. Yes, I've got your message. Thank you for coming. The Lord bless you. Okay, so so what I, I think she she yeah. didn't get the uh, no, beginning of the, the beginning, message. Yes, yes. That now is. now you see, these are words that we said the evil spirits manifest through people when they speak about this, yes, and then they tend to bring the confusion between family. Now this person who came from abroad, do you think he will ever love the sister again? Yeah. And wherever there's discourse, God isn't there. Let me see. God, God is not the author of confusion. He's not the author of confusion. And he does not draw in confusion. Yeah. You understand? And is there any evidential proof to show that the sister went there and they brought him back? You see, these are things that we have to uh, uh, check it very well. Okay, let's go to the lines again. We have Ezekiel from Obuasi. Brother Ezekiel, Adumo. Please move away from your TV set a bit. And position yourself well, but Ezekiel. Okay, so so to her question, let, let's look at it. Right. Uh -huh. I think probably she was not listening well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, because we just spoke about the demons, the demons who are yeah. familiar with, who are yeah. familiar with people who have lived yeah. before. Yes. And then they manifest through human beings, and they possess these people. Yes. Yeah. And they come out with facts which are really true. That has happened. But they are not the cause of okay. such occurrence. Okay. That is the whole thing. They have okay. lived before. Uh -huh. yes. So they know all those histories. Okay. So they just confess through the person. So the, their main motive is, is to just lie and then bring confusion. confusion. Yes. Yeah. Bring those words out. That right. is it. Now, what Stephen Adun Chedia, the prophet of God, is saying that God is the only mm -hmm. omnipotent God, God, the supreme being, the Alpha and Omega. There is none ahead or behind him. You understand? So, what he wants you to do is that cast your faith and put your trust in the Lord. And the God Almighty will sustain you. Now, let's go back to the lines again. We have Justice calling from New Adubiase. Justice from New Adubiase. Adumo. Adumo. But uh, Justice, uh, please can we get to know of your submission today? Okay. Uh, I want... Uh Blessedness to know that fear comes okay. from our own imagination. Fear comes from our own imagination. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Continue. And and because they want to put that fear on us, mm -hmm. for us to imagine that it is that object exists. That's why they alert or they mix this devilish spirit to oh. speak in our various churches. Oh wow! And the the verse. Eleven. Yes. In the end, we have some screen here and they said we don't eat the fishes in the street. Mm -hmm. And I am a, a twin brother. Okay. We said 
Ah, it is impossible. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we took the bull by mm -hmm. we, we, we we went to the riverside, caught the fish, mm -hmm. we fried it and, and ate it. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. There's a child of it. <laughs> my, yeah, my parents are, are they were shocked. Wow. And they say, hey, what is What is the exercise you are going to yeah, so I want to know that we have to believe in ourselves yes, and trust God only. And trust in the Lord only. As, as the prophet of God said. The, the Lord yeah. bless you. The Lord bless you, Justice. You know the Lord bless you for, for calling. Okay. We have Gloria also calling from Asamankasi. Sister Gloria, Adumo. Adumo. Adumo Araqua. Uh, Sister Gloria, I know you've yes, been following today's message and program. Please, can I read know your question or submission that oh. you have for today? Oh, my, um, thank God for your life. I just want to say that I'm so happy. That I found second chance. I found it about a month ago. Wow. Because I have never said anything about second chance. Okay. I was just scrolling through my the channels and I um, realized that there was something called second chance. Second chance. The three things that I said ever since I've not been going to church, I've not been <laughs> watching any other um, channel apart from the second chance. Wow. The Lord bless uh -huh. you. The Lord bless you. That the Lord bless you so much for the good work that you are doing. And then we thank God too for the life of Papa. Wow. Yeah. The Lord bless but you. My for problem. Is that, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you have to pray for me. My husband is not in support. So uh, my husband is not in support of that. So when I'm watching, sometimes he's annoying. Okay. This is not with me. The Lord and Almighty will take care of that. Not what Okay. Yes, God, God in His uh, own wisdom and power will work everything out. Just continue to stay in faith and believe that God Himself will put things together. Okay, thank you for calling. Yeah, Madam, you can go on with the submission here yeah, before we went on the line. Concerning the first question, okay, that mm -hmm. we said there's nothing apart from God. Yes, there's not. I see now the one who created the heaven and earth. Yes, there's no power apart from Him. But what Papa uh, Adum Chedia mentioned is that. Normally, as, as this girl or whoever it is is confessing that he, he or she is bewitching the sister mm -hmm. and the sister has been brought down from abroad and all that. Okay. Before, you know, they're saying she's a witch. Okay. But Papa said there's no issue of witches and wizards. Yeah, yeah. But demon, devil spirits, that demonic spirit this exists. Evil spirits, yes. Evil spirits yes. exist. Yes. Because they, we just explained that they are those who died and couldn't make to heaven. And, and, yeah. you know, and they hoover around, they have left before. Yes. They lived with you. So they know your past, past uh, the history of the family. Okay. So they can tell you all those. And that's why we are saying the pastor shouldn't allow them to manifest through any other being. It's happened. Jesus met it. He rebooked it. Okay. It happened to Paul. So okay. what we have to do is that, according to what the lady is saying, according to the man who just gave the testimony on the morning show, I've yeah. uh, forgotten the name. Okay. He said... God has given her wisdom, but the moment you avail yourself to those things, and believe God, it, takes, God takes wisdom. His wisdom away okay, from you. Let, let's so take this empty. message also from uh, WhatsApp line. So, Adumo, indeed, God sent Papa to save captives. Papa, may God bless you. Abigail Ajua from Takwa. Abigail, the Lord bless you. Okay, this was a Papa. Papa, in fact, you are in fact you are a true prophet of God in this end time. Please add your names and then where the messages are coming from. Please do make sure. This one says Adumo. I'm Kakra from Mangasim. From Mangasim. I love this evening discussion. It enlightens us more on the sermon. Mm -hmm. God bless Papa and you all. Today I am free. Indeed, you are free. The Lord bless you. Okay, we have, please don't call in. Do stop. Don't call our WhatsApp line. Stephen is also on the line from Aguna Suedro. We are going to take about two phone calls and then. Hello. Yes. Hello, Adumo. 
I don't mind Yes, I want to contribute to the program. Thank you. We are listening. I don't mind Yeah. What I want to say is that. Hello. Please, yeah, we are listening. Please yeah. do not listen to yourself from your TV set. Okay. Okay. What yes. I want to say is that most of these pastors. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Most of these pastors. This is what they do is to put fear in their members and make them believe that apart from God, something also exists. Mm -hmm. Because if they try to raise this idea from them, they can no longer make money from them. <laughs> so they are well to come to an end yes. by letting the people know that apart from God, there is no any other thing. So that, that for, for them to continue in their business, they will have to continue putting that fear in them that <laughs> apart from God, something ought to exist. Because the moment they come to their senses, their work will come to an end. Yes. Yeah. For that matter, they will continue to put the idea in them that apart from God, something also exists. So that's what I want to say. The Lord bless you, Thank brother. You in fact, you've made my evening. The Lord bless you. Now let me take this message. This says, uh, Nana Sego, as chapter 6, verse 7, and the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Philadelphia. This message came from Nana Sego. Okay, we have Mr. Donko also on the phone lines from Sunyane. Mr. Danko, Adumo. Adumarakwa. Philadelphia. Adish. 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 Second chance. Say it down when. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In fact, my problem is. Uh, okay. When they add to you. We have. Uh, there's a bed. I can't call it of a tube. Mm -hmm. And oh well. Oh. In fact, okay. There are. Oh, okay. How do you see this bed? Daytime, mm -hmm. it does everything in the night. Yes, but when we see this bed, we tell it to be a witch, uh, a witchcraft. Wow, which is in uh, is, to be honest, I don't understand. Okay, it's uh, a bed, it does everything in the night. Okay, now, now, and okay. my second, okay. my second uh, is a uh, in fact, nowadays, the pastors, mm -hmm. it seems the female pastors are more dangerous than the male <laughs> uh, pastors. Uh, if you deal with issue. the female person uh -huh. and you don't take care, they can even what uh, uh, excuse me to say a part for you to drink, <laughs> which even is very is is very terrible. It's so unfortunate. Yes. So we should be vigilant and take and then uh, be be very careful with them. We don't okay. joke with them. Okay. Yeah, that's my. The Lord bless you. you. The Lord bless you. But for your first question, I think I'm going to take it. Uh, this these organizations are called nocturna. We have, we have, you see, every organism and how it is able to relate to its environment. These are nocturnal organisms that are only functional at night because it is either their body cannot regulate the outside temperature or even their sight cannot behold the light of the day. You understand? So, the Lord, in His mercies and in His wisdom, has created all these organisms. You see, that is why even the, the normal rats we have, they are usually found hidden in, in, in the burrows or in the grounds. But at night, they are very, very functional. So those organisms are not witches. Thank you very much. We, we, we have, we have uh, another person on the line. Charity. Charity. Sister Charity. Calling Hello? from Bimbila in the northern region. Okay. Sister Charity. Adumo. I don't know. I don't matter. Second chance TV. So you're done when? Okay. I would like to make my submission. And uh, okay. I thank God for the yes. life of Papa. Yes. That he has made us to understand that he's very sweet to worship Jesus. Okay. He's very sweet. And you believe that because he has come to give us salvation. Mm -hmm. Because he has freed us. We can't really understand ourselves. Yes. If you are walking, you are dead. You don't understand who much. Oh, Papa, God bless you. Amen. God bless you. I pray that, even the God said it, that they are, they are walking in sheep clothing. We should advise ourselves 
and take us ourselves away from them and free. Okay. Because the knowledge that we have is our God. Yes. If all these words are going with preaching everywhere, everybody is testifying. We can't believe it. That is to our own self. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The Lord bless you for coming. Okay. Now let's let's Okay, there's also another caller on the line uh, from Ejumako, Mr. Amisa. Yeah. The Lord bless you. Yeah, God bless you too. Adumo. Adumo Araqua. Uh, please, can we get your submission, your question for today? Uh -huh. uh, my question is, uh, what, uh, what is the difference between the, uh, the witch class and then the demon? Okay. Yes, I want to know the difference between the witch club and then the demon, and how did they operate in each of the uh, 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 of the functions? Okay, uh, uh, I'm talking about. Please, I'm talking about the demon. The demons and their and then functions. The, yes, and the witch club. Okay, uh, okay. And then, uh, that is my question. Thank you very much. About, uh, I think I have to refer you to a sermon that has been preached by Stephen Adum Chedia, the prophet yeah. of God on witchcraft what is all about witchcraft please you can go to our youtube channel or even for the mobile app and then you will get enough message and enough information about this and i think when you do so your heart will be at peace you're going to be calm from within the lord bless you uh, i think this one this is a message from france and I, I don't know if this person knows me very well because he came with my name. He said, keep it up. I'm enjoying the program. Please next time ask, uh, add your name. Add your, uh, add your name to the message. The Lord bless you. Uh, okay, let's, let's wrap up. Let's wrap up because the, the messages are just coming in. The messages are coming in. And when we allow, let's look at, uh, let's wrap up it, the 13 and 14. Just, we mm -hmm. use it as a, a summary. Summarize everything we, we've spoken of. So let's take, Ephesians chapter says 13 and 14, and then we, okay. we, we bow out. So 13 says, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Yes, 14. Stand therefore, having your loins get about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Yes, uh, let's take our final submissions, and then uh, we, we, we leave this place. Right. Um, okay. I think talking about taking your armor of God, you see, we've all been trying to think that the armor of God is the weapons that we use to counteract our enemies at the <laughs> church, firing guns with our mouth <laughs> here and there. Okay, but, but Stephen Adam Chedia, the prophet of God, okay. wants to instill in us the fact that there is God and we should be able to first imbibing the word you have to study because he says that for lack of knowledge my people perish you have to study the word of god and be able to take in the things that are able to guide you so that when the enemy puts any trap in your path you will be able to what uh bypass it okay without any problems okay okay yes uh okay, um, michael i think the 14th book of we should get our loins, our loins with, with, with truth. truth. Yes. And then um, the breastplate of righteousness. righteousness. Yes. Truth meaning faith. Faith. In the word of God. Yes. The armor of God, as Papa said, mm -hmm. the prophet of God said, Stephen Adam Chedia, is the word of God. Yes. So no ma it was stating that in the evil days, mm -hmm. meaning there will be trials and temptations. Temptation. So when they come, just remember the word of God the word of to God. combat these okay. trials. Okay. Yes. Uh, Mrs. Dorothy Nyama. Yeah. yeah with the birth, as we said, we know we gather ourselves with birth yeah. on our waist. But this time we said we should what? Gather yes, it, it with truth. truth. So it means it's serving as what? The faith. The faith. To protect the word you have yes. uh, gained yeah. uh -huh, or you have received so okay. that nothing will take it away no matter the fear that we put in because we have that faith pushing the word in you you will never relent and you never give in okay. yeah okay so as we all know truth is what uh, we keep in our mind that is your mindset so it means our mindset should be fixed 
we should be firm with our understanding about the promises and the words of God. We shouldn't be shaking. So you make sure that every word of God that you've, be, you've heard all this while, that you've read in the scriptures, you keep it as it is and move according to faith. And breastplate, it means your heart. Your heart should also be transformed. Keep it within you. Let your spirit within you be renewed. So that all these things that are happening around you will not, you, it will not shake you or you will not be moved by them. The Lord bless you. Uh, the messages are coming. Our time, let me just take two of them and then we go. It says, this show is perfect. Pa. Keep it up. Everything is clear by your extra interpretation. This is I'm Joshua. And the last one says, I'm Nana Janfi from France. I'm watching you live from France. Keep it up. The Lord bless you. Okay. So, before we, we, we take our closing prayer, let's know, uh, know that though church has not resumed in full session here, but still we come to you every now and then from our studio Stephen Adunchiri the prophet of God comes to give you the undiluted word of God and our centers across the country are also opened so you can go and have an encounter with the Lord go and pray get yourself the prayer materials exercise your faith move according to faith and the knowledge that you have received from Stephen Adunchiri the prophet of God and you also give your testimony now those around Accra and this envelopes can go to Pokuyasi Katapo, Pokuyasi Katapo estate, and then you can have the prayer materials that you need. You can also pray over there and believe that the Lord Almighty will give you testimony. Now, if you are in so many, so many, and this envelopes, you can also go to behind G and J restaurant. Behind G and J restaurant, we have a prayer center there, and you are also going to be met. You can be. Uh, whatever you want, that is the prayer material, you will be sorted out. Now, if you are in Kumasi and this environs, then you can come to our head office or headquarters here in Kenya, say, Ejumem, Tichan Kwanta. When you come, you can go to the altar, pray, have a chat with the Lord Almighty. The gracious God is not going to leave you alone. He will give you a testimony. If you are also in Dunkwao, Obuase, Formina, and its environs. Then, Obuase, you can go to New BDM near Pano Security Services. And our doors are open. You can get our prayer materials also there. Those in Techiman and Inche, you can call our phone lines and you'll be redirected. The Lord bless you. Now, we are going to take uh, a, a word of prayer because we started with God and then we believe that as he is the Alpha and Omega, we have to end with him. So, Brother Michael, uh, can you take us to okay. a word of prayer and then we say bye-bye. Okay. Father, we are so grateful. We bless you, Lord. Our hearts can offer to what you've done. Yes. Father, we pray that please, let the purpose behind your word be established Amen. in the hearts of all viewers. Amen. Your word says that thy word descends from above and before it ascends back to thee unless it, it has been established. Yes. We are praying, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that may you establish these words yes. in the hearts of your children. Amen. In this and many things we ask. Through the Son of Jesus, through the Son of God, Lord, Jesus Lord. Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 Beloved, I know you are blessed, and then today the skills has fallen from your eyes. It is always good you stay glued to Second Chance TV because there are so many things that are coming your way. We'll come to you into your homes next week, same time at 5 p.m. The Lord bless you for staying with us. Bye-bye.
How deep have you assimilated the word of truth, the word of wisdom, and the word of knowledge through listening to the teachings of Stephen Adum Chaidia, the prophet of God? And you are welcome to come for a church. Mm -hmm. I am Mamma Quanchera still. I am Mamma. And Chira was a winning Yamiba. Remember, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Study to show thyself approved unto God as you watch this program. Learn from the prophet. The devil working. How is it different in our time when we compare our days to the days of Elijah, to the days of Daniel and then Shadrach, Mezak, Abednego? This program is set to enlighten you more about the teachings of Stephen at Dumchedia, the prophet of God, and also to bridge the language barrier. Learn 